so today we have came to the last topic of this particular chapter queuing theory or you can say waiting line problems and it is known as economic analysis of waiting lines which means we have to find the minimum cost service rate now without any introduction i will just show you how to find the minimum cost service rate after finding or deriving the minimum cost service rate we will perform a problem for that particular formula okay so today we are just going to have a idea on how to find a minimum cost service rate although in the semester examinations they will not going to ask i think the derivation sometimes they may ask so it is better for you to know how to derive the minimum cost service rate and um, many a times they are going to ask direct numericals from this particular formula okay so let us start with the derivation first then we will proceed to the numerical one okay so uh, coming to the um, cost of minimum cost service rate we should first know that each queuing system now you have already known all the models characteristics and uh, you know uh, service disciplines everything about the queuing theory except this one how to find the minimum cost service rate so in a queuing theory basically um, you know there are uh, um, uh, a queuing theory is associated generally with you know two opposing costs okay the two opposing costs are written over here as cost of waiting from the name itself you can guess that means one is to wait and that bears some cost okay when a, when you are going to a barber shop or bank or somewhere else where you have to stand in a queue and uh, if the queue is long enough then you will feel you know disturbed and you will try to avoid that particular sector or you know uh, particular uh, institution or that particular public place and you will try to move to another shop or another uh, public place so this is the cost of waiting okay and the next one is cost of providing service if a particular organization or you know a particular sector or a shop you can say has to provide a good service or you can say say for a restaurant if they are going to reduce their lead time if they are going to reduce the queue line okay so they have to provide a you know a good service a limited time service so, or they have to um, uh, incur some cost of waiting you can say the uh, you know the customers will may leave and find another restaurant so in order to uh, retain the customers uh, you have to provide quality service with a uh, limited or you can say prescribed time so the cost of waiting and cost of providing service are the two essential uh, you know mm. costs related to a queuing system okay and these two are uh, you can see from these two uh, definitions you can see these are two opposing costs okay one is opposite to other now in order to solve a queuing problem service facility must be manipulated you know so that uh, an optimum balance we are always telling the particular word optimization uh, in the introduction one in the introduction chapter of uh, what i already said that we are going to use that particular word optimization as because we are optimization we are dealing with optimization techniques over here in this operational research subject so in order to solve a queuing problem uh, service facility must be uh, manipulated so that an optimum balance is uh, you know obtained between the cost of waiting and cost of providing service okay now uh, the waiting time cost uh, what will uh, what will be the uh, consequences of um, waiting time okay so the uh, um, waiting time cost generally includes uh, you know the cost of last business because uh, people may go somewhere else as i was already telling you in a restaurant where there is a long queue and you are not providing service in a, you know a short period of time or there are more queues as because of limited space you know so you have to uh, there is a cost of last business people because people may uh, find some else restaurant or go somewhere else okay 
so they leave without waiting for service or do not come again okay there is a cost of you know waiting and uh, the next one is the cost of ideal equipment and persons okay for example you can say uh, an employee is to be paid while queuing uh, at a tool drive or you can say broken down machines avoid for uh, repairs and maintenance and etc you can also uh, cite an example from this particular period of lockdown and uh, uh, sorry for taking this particular example actually it is a very sensitive one though i am giving it as an example take it as an example only in this particular uh, say you are a company manager and for this particular period of pandemic uh, you have to pay your employees though your company is uh, not working or you can say in this period of lockdown you are not working in your um, the employees are not allowed to come come to your company and company is not uh, having any um, you know working hours but though you have to pay them so okay so this is a cost of you know uh, ideal um, equipment or you can say ideal person but sorry for this particular example this is for example mean only this is a sensory case uh, you know for pandemic huh? so uh, we are um, helpless but we cannot go to somewhere else except we have to stay in the home only so uh, cost of wait, uh, waiting is the cost of last business because people go somewhere else and the cost of ideal now uh, the cost of ideal service facilities like, yeah the payment to be made to the servers engaged at the facilities for the period for which they remain idle this is also the cost incurring ideal services now for the waiting time costs they are mainly dependent on the size of the uh, service facility actually this waiting time cost as i earlier told you if you have a limited uh, space in the restaurant you are going to have a uh, you know big queue so the smaller the service facility the longer the queue and the higher the uh, you know waiting cost okay so waiting time can be reduced by improving service rate made possible the addition of service facilities okay you have to increase the service facilities now addition of service facilities uh, uh, to improve the service rate however increases also the service cost so uh, we have to the queue system must be designed in such a way we have to we are going to design a queue system in such a way that it should incur minimum uh, total cost okay now what is the total cost i am coming uh, what is i want the total cost now this particular figure i have drawn over here you can see it it, it is a, a, a it is a, you can see it is a graph okay it, it is known as a total expected cost of service okay under the heading and uh, you can say uh, this is the cost of providing service and it is the level of service you can see in this particular figure this one is the total expected cost that is curve over here they have given this particular diagram mm -hmm. they have made this particular diagram i have taken i have taken this particular diagram from the margin book i am consulting margin book as i already have told you and you can consult any other books you will get this particular diagram from any other book also so this is a graph for, uh, uh, of cost of providing service and level of service here you can see the total expected cost over here and this is the optimum level of service you can see over here okay and uh, and uh, this one is the ewc and this is the cost of providing service per hour ewc is the cost of waiting customers per hour as i earlier told you cost of waiting on customers per hour this one is that this one okay this is that. and this is the cost of providing service per hour okay this is uh, like this one uh, sorry for my clumsy drawing this is the curve okay so uh, except uh, this is only the theory now let come to the particular you know uh, derivation of the total uh, minimize total expected cost we have to minimize okay total uh, expected cost we have to minimize that is the main motto over here we have to minimize the total expected cost it is the, our target today, okay so uh, let us start with what is total expected cost i can uh, write total expect tsc you know i am writing in a short you know uh, abbreviated form as because of this limited space okay uh, there will be key formation and <laughs> limited space, space over here so i have to write in a abbreviated way okay in order to retain customer now uh, i can write tsc equal to uh, you can see over here ewc plus i can write uh, esc uh, this is a new term 
ESC, what is ESC? ESC is expected service cost, you know, expected service cost. Okay, I'll write it over here. This one is expected service cost and it should be per hour, I think. Yes, it should be per hour. Okay, so uh, TSC is a total expected, uh, you know, system cost per hour, total expected system cost per hour and this one is the EWC is the expected waiting cost W means waiting expected waiting cost per hour all these are in per hour same unit okay not written in same unit for derivation now so TSC equal to EWC plus ESC now what is EWC and ESC we have to write down it uh, EWC I am writing it first EWC EWC is the abbreviated form of expected waiting cost per hour now expected waiting uh, cost per hour can be written in a form you know number of customers per hour that is the arrival how much how, how much customers are arriving number of customers per hour and we note it by you know lambda that is the arrival you know arrival and we can intuit with uh, waiting time in the customer per hour as is is it it is uh, you know um, associated with the waiting it is wait expected waiting cost so arrival that is the number of customer you can say then uh, waiting time in the uh, system per for per customer okay you already know the formula waiting time for the customer waiting time in the system ws that is given by uh, this one mu minus lambda this is the service rate and this is the arrival and say um, one more thing is there uh, into waiting time cost let us say uh, let us take a waiting time cost abbreviation uh, let us take cw okay so we are going to take cw as waiting time cost per hour sorry for the mess over here this can be written as uh, say cw okay we are taking cw as this one is as you know mm, waiting time waiting time cost per hour okay this one so our ewc cost is uh, you know lambda that is the number of customer or arrival rate uh, you can say and one uh, one by mu minus lambda is the waiting time in the system ws okay and cw we are introducing a new term over here for waiting time cost per hour okay this is the ewc now Mm, this one esc esc is the uh, you know mm, it is expected service uh, cost per hour that is the es now expected service cost we can write as uh, service rate service rate is the mu okay so service rate into uh, cost will be there for the giving service uh, service cost per customer let us say that is uh, cf new term this new term is uh, you can say it as service cost service cost per customer okay you can say it service cost per customer okay so we have uh, already deduced two formulas that is for ewc and esc e ewc is the expected waiting cost per hour and e uh, esc is the um, expected service cost per hour now it is given as the number of customer okay per hour all is in per hour only okay and this one is the ws that is the uh, waiting time in the system per uh, customer uh, that is one by mu minus lambda means the you know service rate lambda you know already available uh, and cw is the new term over here we have to multiply it with waiting time cost per hour okay so per hour this is the total expected waiting time cost okay now come to the expected service cost per hour it is given by the service rate as you know service rate we are giving a service so this is a service rate service rate mu and cf is a new term over here it is known as service cost this is the service rate and this is the service cost so we have to multiply both of them to get the expected service cost per hour now uh, coming to the tsc we can write it as tesc equal to uh, lambda by mu minus lambda uh, you know plus uh, no there is cw also cw plus mu into you know cf okay so this is the 
total you know expected cost this is the total expected part and we have to minimize this okay it is our aim today target today that is I gonna and I have written all the abbreviated term I am using over here to minimize the minimum uh, you know to uh, minimize the total expected cost and to find the minimum cost service rate and uh, this is the TSC the total expected cost over here you can see it over here uh, you can take a you know um, screenshot you can write it over in some notebook so this uh, uh, EWC that is the expected uh, service cost per hour this is the ESC is it is the expected service cost sorry sorry it is the expected waiting cost I, I must have written a wrong thing over here sorry this one is the expected you know uh, waiting time waiting time is expected waiting time cost per hour and this one is the expected service uh, cost per hour okay now it is visible i think okay so let us come to the uh, derivation portion here over here I think you have noted down all the abbreviated things over here. Okay, so mm, let us come to this particular section. CW is the you know waiting time cost per hour and CF is the service cost per hour. Okay, now come to the mm, derivation section, the main aim to find the minimum of this total uh, expected cost. So in order to find the total expected cost, we have to derivative, we have to take de uh, we have to derivative, uh, differentiate TSC with respect to uh, service rate this one is the service rate hmm? this one is the arrival rate lambda and this one mu is the service rate so we have to derivative uh, the total uh, uh, expected cost with respect to uh, uh, service rate tsc okay now it is clear to you and we have to put the derivative as zero okay so derivating this term with respect to you know mu that is the service rate we are getting for this first one mu minus uh, lambda will give you minus uh, lambda mu minus lambda we will square over here this one is constant so no need to derivative and for this one uh, this gives one and this only remains cf only remains okay now this term will be uh, zero for uh, this minimum okay for this minimum so we are uh, getting lambda by mu minus lambda you know uh, square into cw equal to you can say minus cf you can write uh, minus goes there no it is plus so now we have um, this one we have to find you know uh, the uh, service rate yeah we have to find the service rate. that means we have to find mu okay so in order to find mu we have to transfer these all terms here to there okay so transforming you will get here mu minus lambda square i can write as cf by cw into lambda i think mu minus lambda square okay mu minus lambda square this gives you cw into lambda by cf okay this one goes there and this is okay okay so uh, mu minus lambda square is here we here now I have to find mu only okay so now mu minus lambda you can say plus minus you have to give root over uh, cw into lambda by cf okay now mu gives you uh, lambda plus minus uh, root over cw into lambda by cf so this is you know this is the uh, minimum cost service rate you can say okay this is the mu is the you know service rate so you can also write it as a i will write it with highlighter one this you can say this mu is the minimum one okay this is the mu one minimum one so now we have find the uh, minimum uh, service uh, rate okay minimum cost service rate you can say also so this is the uh, lambda plus minus root over cw cw is the waiting time cost per hour and cf is the you know service cost per hour and this is the you know lambda is the arrival rate so this formula this formula they are uh, will be applying to solve particular numericals 
okay in the next session thank you so the derivation of the total expected minimum cost now we have to um, solve a numerical based on the particular uh, you know uh, total uh, expected um, cost so in this particular problem i have taken from the book mahajan and it comes under the topic of you know we already have solved the uh, derivation of how to find find the total uh, expected uh, waiting cost so it comes under the topic economic analysis of uh, waiting times uh, let me read the problem for you you can note it down from to somewhere else or you can uh, you know take a, a screenshot <coughs> the problem is given over here as the machine the machine this one is a machine m obviously i have written in some short form the machine in uh, production shop breakdowns at an average of 2 per hour okay so this is you can say as the um, you know it can be uh, termed as um, arrival you can say uh, it says the machine breakdowns at an average of 2 per hour so we can take this as a average okay and the next one says the non productive time of any machine costs rupees 30 per hour okay this is the cost non productive time of any machine will cost and if the cost of repairman is rupees 50 per hour cost of repairman is given 50 per hour and the repair rate is 3 per hour okay 3 per hour is repair rate okay so you can also say this repair rate as a uh, service rate you can say okay there is a mu one okay and this one well i'm not so first uh, you have to uh, from a given problem you have to decide what are our given data that is the first step of solving a numerical in a uh, you know quicker way in a short period of time first you have to uh, choose the keywords from this particular problem you have to note it down side by side that means you are getting a hold of this particular numeral so let me write it down next we will uh, see what we have to calculate okay first while reading you just first step is to just write the given data over here so uh, for given data we you know uh, average rate is uh, arrival you can say that is given as arrival rate you can say arrival rate as uh, lambda is given over 2 per hour okay so 2 per hour you can get now um, the next thing you have to write the repair rate that is a service rate you can say so service rate you can write just you need to read the problem at the same time you have to write the given data then it will be easier for you to solve the problem okay this is a basic approach of how to solve a numerical in a shorter period of time so this is service service rate we know we denoted uh, denote this as service rate as mu and this arrival rate as uh, lambda okay. so mu is given as 3 per hour so 3 per hour okay. now uh, first one is we have to we will uh, write down this cost if you want you can also write this particular uh, cost in a side by and the cost of repairman and cost of repair rate you know so let us uh, see what are the uh, questions they are asking over here the first questions uh, number of machine not working at any point of time number of machine not working okay so for this particular you know already know uh, how to solve this a number of machines not working uh, at any point of time so so solving first one we know already we have the formula here we have solved this particular type of problems in our uh, previous modules while solving the previous previous modules of the queuing theory so number of machines not working at any point of time it can be written as uh, uh, you can know uh, say number of machines uh waiting for repairman okay waiting for repairman plus um, machines be repaired that is the number of machine not working at any point of time okay machines being repaired so th that much is the total number of machine that is not working at it there is the number of machine waiting for repair and the machine being repaired so they are not working basically so how we uh, we already know the formula there is a system length this is called the system length okay they are standing they are ideal okay so system length you can also term it as system length we already know the formula of system length 
uh, ls is given by uh, lambda by mu minus lambda you know already and the units are okay here per hour per hour okay no problem so we just um, write down lambda 2 by uh, you know 3 minus 2 okay. so it gives you two machines okay i am writing the machines in an abbreviated form okay two machines so first one first one is over now come to the next one next one says what is the average time average time they are asking average time uh, uh, that a machine is waiting for the repair okay that is the average time you already know average time uh, is can be uh, you can say it as a q time okay waiting that means q time okay, no problem q time so q time you know is given by w q okay w q is equal to you know the formula is given by lambda by you know mu into mu minus lambda so lambda you know 2 by mu is 3 and 3 minus 2 so it gives you 2 by 3 okay it is in hours as because it is a q time okay so first two questions are solved there is the number of machines not working at any point of time and the average time that a machine is waiting for the repairment so for solving this two point we are not needing any um, cost incurred okay now let us come to the uh, next part next part says let me remove it for you So next part says uh, the cost of non-productive time of the machine operator. Okay, it is asking for the machine operator cost of non-productive time of the machine operator. Now how to solve it? This is the main part. Uh, before solving uh, these two, you already know how to solve these two uh, previous questions. Okay. Now this one is the new one for this particular. Thing. Now. For cost of non-productive time of the machine operator, we know it can be uh, termed as, let us say, this one is the C. And, and the cost of non-productive time of the machine operator can be termed as average number of machines not working. We already find that average number of machines not working, okay, at any point of time, at any point of time already we have solved in the previous one average number of months and it should be multiplied with uh, you know machine rate hour machine rate hour okay so for this particular question cost of non producting time we can easily multiply this average number of machine not working at any point of time into machine rate hour now what is the machine rate hour they have already provided machine rate hour the non productive time look at the question the non productive time of any machine costs rupees 30 per hour okay so we are going to simply uh, for this particular one we already solved let me solve again uh, we have the formula of lambda by mu minus lambda for this particular average number of machine not working at any point of time and the uh, machine rate hour is uh, you know it is a 30 so this one this one you know 2 by you know 3 minus 2 lambda is given as a, um, 2 and mu is 3 so 3 minus 2 this comes out to be how much 16 i think you know uh, so it, it should be it says cost so it should be rupees 60 you know so that is the cost of non-productive time of the machine operator now let me find the last one the last one says what is the expected cost of the uh, system this is what is the expected cost of the uh, system per hour okay now this is the that formula I uh, earlier derived that is the formula we are going to use here okay for part D that is a PESC we already solved 
how to you know how to derive this tsc tsc sc is the cost of waiting per hour plus you know cost of service per hour we already solved this one okay now cost of waiting per hour it can also be termed as machine idle machine idle this is the machine m oblique c is the machine machine ideal uh, or you can say non productive that is the previous one in the part c we already find it the machine ideal or the non productive uh, time cost per hour cost per hour plus cost of service per hour cost of service per hour uh, is given over here in the problem you can see over here if the cost of repairman is rupees 50 that is given over here cost of service per hour okay so uh, you already find it the machine idle productive time cost that is the uh, you know this is the cost of cost of service per hour so summation of this one this two one is the total expected cost of the system so you already find it this one machine idle non productive time in the in this part of the question cost of non productive it was i think there was 60 you know there was 60 and this cost service per hour is given over here as 50 so we can just simply add this one and we are getting rupees 110 so we have solved the numerical on the you know economic analysis of waiting lines we have founded the cost of non-productive time of the machine operator and the expected cost of system per hour that was the two newest one in this particular a queuing theory. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you. Thank you for your presence.